Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about polymorphism. So we have already learned there are four important properties in object-oriented programming: inheritance, encapsulation, polymorphism, and abstraction. So we have already covered the concept of inheritance and encapsulation in previous video. Now let's understand what is polymorphism. So the word polymorphism means having many forms. So polymorphism basically means ability to take many forms so in simple words we can define polymorphism as the ability of a message to be displayed in more than one form so any of the property or the message if you want to display in more than one form or in multiple forms you can make use of polymorphism let's understand the concept of polymorphism with the help of example so a person at the same time can have different characteristics so a person can perform different roles as per the characteristics like a man at the same time is a father a husband or an employee so these are the three different properties or the characteristics of a man so man is a single individual but he can perform or behave according to this particular roles so the same person possess different behavior in different situation so this can be considered as the example of polymorphism so in our programming word or in java how to achieve the polymorphism so polymorphism in java is mainly divided into two types so in two types we can make use of polymorphism so what are these two types so first one is runtime polymorphism and second is compile time polymorphism so runtime polymorphism is also known as dynamic polymorphism and this runtime polymorphism is achieved by method overriding so this is the important term here method overriding so runtime polymorphism is nothing but method overriding another one is compile time polymorphism so it is also known as static polymorphism compile time polymorphism is achieved by function overloading or operator overloading so this is basically achieved with the help of function overloading or method overloading or operator overloading but java doesn't support operator overloading so compile time polymorphism is achieved only with the help of function overloading that is also known as method overloading so these are the three terms important here polymorphism first one so polymorphism can be achieved by runtime polymorphism or compile time polymorphism and how to achieve this runtime polymorphism by overloading writing and another one is compile time polymorphism which can be achieved by method overloading so in this video we will understand method overriding in detail and in the next video we will cover method overloading so what is method overriding so method overriding happens if the subclass method satisfy the below condition with the superclass method so as we know a superclass is a parent class and subclass is a child class so if subclass has the same method that is declared in the parent class it is known as method overriding in java so in other words if a subclass provides a specific implementation of the method that has been already declared in parent class it is known as method overriding so how to achieve this method overriding in the child class so method name should be same if a parent class contain any method and if you want to override that method in the child class then the method name should be same second important thing is the argument should be same like the number of parameters that is declared in the parent class that should be same in the child class as well return type should also be same so return type should also be same so it means that the entire signature of the method should be same like the return type the name and the number of parameters so the key benefit of overriding is that the subclass can provide some specific information about the subclass type than the superclass as the same method is present in parent and child class you can provide the implementation as per the specifications of the child and parent class respectively so let's understand this method overriding in the demo now we will move toward eclipse editor so here i have a class called test and inside this class we have a main method as we know method overriding consists of superclass and subclass so we need to make use of inheritance so first thing let declare one class so let's say one class name of class is 
programming language let's declare class name as programming language programming language so this is my class here and inside this class i will declare one method let's declare a method public void let's say show show is the name of method and let's print one message here let's keep it simple to understand the concept let's print here inside programming language so inside programming language so this is the method which is inside this class programming language now let's declare another class and which will act as a child class so let's say class let's give name of class as java and which extends extends this programming language class so let's copy paste this class name and paste it here now what this extend keyword is doing this extend keyword is now specifies that the java class is a child class of this programming language now here we don't have any method but when we extend to another parent class then all the methods inside this class will be available inside this java class so even if you don't declare this show method here so by default this show method is already present inside this class you will be not able to see it but you will be able to access it so let me remove this part so internally the behavior is like that so inside the test class if you try to create the object of java class let's create the object of java class java obj equal to new java so now we have created the object of java class and with the help of object you will be able to call this show method you yes. see as the show method is not here inside the child class which is java but it is already present in the parent class right so it will be accessible inside the child class as well because we are extending the programming language class so if i run this code now so what will be the output so let's run this code so we are getting here inside programming language but we are calling the object of java class right so the implementation we want to have different like instead of printing inside programming language i want to print here inside java so here for this particular method you need to override so what are the rules of overriding a method method name should be same argument should be same and return type should also be the same so it means that the entire signature here public void show and whatever parameters here as this method does not have any argument or parameters so you can just ignore that with zero parameters now here instead of providing here the message inside programming language i will print here let's copy this statement paste it here i will say here inside java let's say inside java and now let's keep the same thing inside the main class we have created the object of the java class and we are calling this show method now what will happen this particular object will not call the method of parent class right because it is overridden the method like we have overrided the method here and the implementation here is inside java so if i run this code so see we are getting your message inside java so what is the benefit of overriding a method it will provide the specific implementation inside the child class if you don't override this method then the default behavior which is present inside the parent class will be implemented now let's understand the same thing with the help of different function now let's say inside this programming class you want to have a different method now let's replace this show method with display and it's take one argument let's say it's take string and let's say name and here you will print inside programming language and also you will print that particular argument here so let print that argument here which will be name will be printing that name here and the same thing now here there are two different method right here display and here we have the show method so it is not method overriding because we have different methods so we want to override the method so let's copy the same method name and let's have one argument here string name only string name and here we will also print the name let's say here plus name now we have the same method same number of 
arguments which is a single argument same method name and the return type is also same but the implementation is different here and now here what we will do we will call the display method now what will happen inside this display method you need to pass one argument also because this particular method is expecting one argument so let's pass the argument as code crush and now if i try to run this code what will be the output as the object is created of java class right so this particular class display method will be called if this class doesn't have display method then the parent class method will be called let me show you that as well so first we will call the child class so here we are getting inside java code crush if i remove this method from here then what will be the output as here display method is not available but we are calling the display method so the parent class display method will be implemented let me run this code so we are getting here inside programming language code crush so that is the use of method overriding also one thing you can do instead of creating the reference variable here object with the help of java you can also create with the help of parent class which is programming language so here here what is happening now here we have created the programming language which is our parent class and created the reference variable object but here we are using the java class so the object is of java class only if you call this obj dot display then it will call the method of child class only which is java let me run this code so see here we are getting inside java code crash so i hope you understand all the theory behind what is method overriding and the practical implementation of method overriding in the next video we will cover the method overloading so thank you for watching